Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Just changing around a few things on the uh, vertical garden. Just remembering to keep the pipes on the outside so that for easy watering. And that's as easy as it is. That's another good little job done. Let's get into the polytunnel and see how the strawberries are doing. So this is my uh, new polytunnel. I raised it up uh, by uh, 0.8 of a metre, 800 mil, and uh, it's doing really well. And we've already got strawberries planted down each side. We've got the uh, red barons uh, as a companion plant, and recently all the runners were started to throw out, so we've uh, done those. Uh, the strawberries now and they're a broad, beautiful strawberry uh, variety sweetheart and uh, Eve, I think it's about six days since I six days since we last did this you might not have seen it six days but it's, these are six days uh, on there and they've uh, rooted down already so let's just uh, have a look at this one now you can see all the white roots. There's the little pin that I use to hold them. Sorry, Mr. Strawberry, but surprising how quick they do root down. I will wait until the roots are at the bottom and then we'll cut them off the mother plant. But you can see there, oh, that's a new runner. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's one there and it's through another runner out. So we'll... Uh, We'll take that off, just to help it uh, concentrate on its own crown, not producing uh, more. But the uh, I'm going to pick a few strawberries now and I'll show you the actual quality of them. This is where I keep all my fruit containers. These are just ordinary uh, pots that uh, we collect different sizes uh, it just keeps them away from the mice and the rats so that they don't uh, pee uh, all over them we don't want that now nah, don't they look nice let's pick one of the, the better ones do I do an excuse me moment of course I do and definitely not with the big one because I did promise Mrs K that we'd get a few strawberries today she's bought the cream excuse me Could do with a little bit longer, but I'll beat the pests. Oh, very juicy. Something else has fell down outside, a little bit of breeze, that's welcoming. But everything's looking uh, really nice in here. Um, the cucumbers are starting to form. So are the uh, peppers. Getting quite a few flowers now, and uh, it's a game and a half to keep the uh, suckers uh, under control. They're all tied up, haven't I done well? Just a quick tip on your strawberries. Uh, you can see that one there possibly is hanging down on the soil. Uh, just lift it up, fold it round, and uh, place it uh, on top of uh, the leaves keeps it off the ground keeps it nice and clean as you can see I haven't got much room down here but collecting the runners off these uh, mm, gorgeous uh, strawberries will be ideal I'll be able to replant everything else that I've got around the allotment find a space plant in it Fill a corner, plant a tomato. Looks like a harvest of broad beans for Sunday dinner. Mmm. Find a space, plant some lettuce, plant some cobra French beans, plant some radish in amongst the broad beans and the uh, turnips are these. Turnips. 
and beetroot. Third square foot garden bed all planted up or sowed. I like them just slightly bigger than that for my lunchbox. These are the Easy Pick Gold Courgettes. Excuse me. Can't beat it. The courgettes that we fried have now picked up. Nice and healthy, like we said before. We plant them on a mound and water around there or water via pipe so that we don't uh, rot the stems. The elephant garlic scapes have just started to turn and once they've done a full loop, we'll harvest the garlics and we'll eat the scapes. Shop bought skinned strawberries, planted over winter, bought out, heated up and uh, we've got three nice containers. And uh, here's that water container and uh, I've uncovered them well early this time because I don't want them to go leggy like this box and uh, a lot of them haven't uh, really survived you can see there in the shade they've done well so I'm going to interplant with uh, a few radishes there in uh, a week or two's time second sowing of uh, long beans French beans pongo uh, I think I may have some cobra in there as well uh, to go alongside the first sowing of uh, the pomgo. These are uh, a dwarf variety, they don't climb. I didn't realize that. And uh, I'm gonna have a whole bed full here. And I love these beds, they're the ideal height. No bending down, that's why I want to raise the square foot gardening. Marie Curry's crums crimson broad beans. They're also uh, growing well and if I was a pollinator I'd certainly want to poke my nose into those flowers they're beautiful and once your broad beans get to a decent height and you haven't got black fly don't forget to pinch the tops out and uh, they're edible enjoy the uh, pointed cabbage now are really filling out nicely I'm gonna have far too many but better to have too many than none at all Shan't do so many next time. <laughs> Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now. No, take them home. <laughs>